This training video will show you how to create a quiz in your QClick 7 software. Open your QClick 7 software. Log in with your username and password. The default username is Como, Q-O-M-O, and the default password is Como, Q-O-M-O. Go to the top of the page and select the QClick7 Add-ins tab. Customize the title page. Then you can start adding question slides. You can add all question slides at once, or you can add them as you go. You may also incorporate teaching slides in between your question slides. Choose the type of question you would like to ask. Multiple choice questions can be normal quiz questions, or they can be Likert survey questions. After entering your question and answer choices, click on the Show Details icon. You'll see the Question Detail pane open on the right side of the screen. Click on the Obtain button to import your question into the Question Detail pane. Select the correct answer or answers. Please note, if you are using the QRF 300 system, you are only allowed to have one correct answer. For all questions, you may edit the question mode at the top of the page. You can quiz in normal mode, rush mode, or vote survey mode. Rush mode is a game mode that only allows the first person who buzzed in to respond. You may also edit the time allotted for the question. The time is set in seconds. You can use the seconds in the drop down menu or you can type in the time you would like in seconds. You may edit the points earned for the question. You can use the points in the drop down menu, or you can type in the points you would like to give. Now let's add a short answer response question. You may use the short answer response for the QRF 500, QRF 700, and QRF 900 systems. You may edit your text as you would normally do in PowerPoint. After you enter your question, click on the Obtain button and enter in the answer. The answers for the QRF 500 system are limited to 20 characters, and the QRF 700 and QRF 900 systems are limited to 32 characters. You may choose to have your answers be case sensitive and or punctuation sensitive you may also choose to auto-shrink continuous spaces. Now let's add a true-false question. Type in your question. Click Obtain in the Question Detail pane and select the correct answer. Once you have entered all your questions and answers, save your file. You have now created your quiz. If you would like, you may use the PowerPoint design features to enhance your presentation.
For more information, visit our website, www.como.com.